Hi, I'm Swati Rajendran from Group 9. My presentation is going to be about data and its attributes. What is data? A data is a collection of objects and their attributes. Uh, it is a piece of information consisting of uh, objects and attributes formatted and stored for specific purpose. Uh, it is of various forms like numbers, facts, graphs, information, measurements, etc. An attribute is a specification that defines a property of an object, element or file. An attribute of an object usually consists of a name and a value of an element, a type or class name of a file, a name and an extension. And an object is defined as, as, as a collection of or attributes. Uh, it is of different types like samples, points, cases and the attributes are of eye color, temperature are the examples. So in attribute, uh, it has attribute values called numbers or symbols and uh, the distinction uh, between uh, the attribute and the attribute values is uh, different attribute values can be assigned to same attribute. Example, height can be measured in feet or meters and uh, different attributes can be mapped to the same set of values. Example, uh, attribute values for ID and age are integers. So both has same type of uh, data types. There are different types of attributes like uh, nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Uh, so the first type would be the nominal uh, attribute. A nominal attribute provides descriptive information about the object such as color of the object, the name of an object uh, or the type of an object. That means that you cannot state that one attribute is greater than or less than another attribute or you cannot multiply attributes together. So for instance, it does not make sense to multiply the color blue by the color red. The only comparisons you can do with nominal attributes are to check whether the attributes are equal or not equal. The next attribute category would be ordinal or, uh, attribute. Ordinal attributes imply a ranking or order based on their values. These values can be descriptive text or numerical. So for instance, we can state that high is ordered higher than low and high is ordered higher than medium and low is ordered lower than high. But we cannot say that high is twice as high as medium and medium as twice as high as low. Additionally, if the numerical attributes are of the ordinal attribute category, uh, we can say that 50 is ordered higher than 20 and 20 is ordered higher than 10, but we cannot say that 50 is twice as high as 25. So do not let that confuse you thinking that a scale is implied. Uh, the third category would be interval attribute. Interval attributes imply a rank, order and magnitude or scale. Interval attributes use numbers. However, those numbers do not have a natural zero and use an arbitrary zero point instead. Uh, we can say that 50 degree Fahrenheit is 10 degree Fahrenheit more than 40 degree Fahrenheit. We cannot say that 50 degree Fahrenheit is twice as hot as uh, 25 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, because uh, zero degree Fahrenheit is a human created zero and not a natural phenomenon. With an interval attribute, addition subtraction to make sense but not multiplication since values are relative from, from the arbitrary zero. The fourth and the final category is the ratio attribute category. A ratio attribute implies both rank order and magnitude about a natural zero. The ratio at three category uses numerical attributes and addition, subtraction, multiplication, division makes sense as the values are absolute from a natural zero. If we are measuring speed in miles per hour, an item arrest uh, is at a natural zero miles as it is not moving. Therefore, not only we can we can stay at 50 miles per hour is twice as fast than 25 miles per hour. We can also say that uh, it is greater than 25 miles per hour. Therefore, we are implying both rank and magnitude. Uh, the next comes the properties of attribute values. Uh, the different types of pro properties on which the attribute depends are uh, uh, distinctness, order, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Uh, the nominal attribute uses uh, dis distinctness property. Uh, an ordinal attribute uses distinctness, order uh, properties. An interval attribute uses distinctness, order, uh, addition, subtraction uh, properties. Uh, ratio attribute uses distinctness, order, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division properties. The next comes discrete and continuous attributes. Uh, when it comes to dis discrete attribute, 
uh, it has only a finite or countably infi infinite set of values it is often represented as integer variables and it is it has a special case called binary attribute uh, and a few examples are zip codes uh, uh, or the set of words in a collection of documents in continuous attribute it has real numbers as attribute values uh, it is a continuous attribute uh, which consists of floating point variables it is also real values uh, which can only be measured and represented as uh, it is uh, using a finite number of digits uh, a few examples are temperature height or weight uh, thank you now let's move on to the questions so what are the types of attribute there uh, so the types of attributes that are present are nominal attribute ordinal attribute interval attribute and ratio attribute the second question is what are the properties of interval and ratio attribute the properties of interval attribute are distinctness order addition and subtraction and the ratio attribute has all the four properties distinctness order addition subtraction and multiplication and division thank you